whole time in Wakanda and you come out White Panther. It's actually White Wolf. Huh? Who is the White Wolf in Marvel, and what role might they play in Black Panther 3? The White Wolf holds significance in Black Panther lore, and potentially significant changes could be in store for the character in the MCU. More importantly, who will win in Fight Black Panther or White Wolf? Let's find out. Marvel Cinematic Universe enthusiasts first encountered the name White Wolf in the post credit scene of the initial Black Panther movie, where Bucky Barnes was referred to as White Wolf by children in a Wakandan village. While comic book aficionados recognized the reference, others were left curious about its implications for the character known as the Winter Soldier and the broader MCU. Despite the passage of five years and the release of 24 projects, fans are still in the dark about how Bucky acquired this moniker. Nevertheless, insights from the comics shed light on the origin of the name and raise questions about how the White Wolf might be incorporated into the storyline of the upcoming Black Panther installment. In the comic book narrative, the origin of the White Wolf character unfolds when a plane crashes in the dense Wakandan forests, leaving behind a lone survivor, a white baby. The villagers who find the infant bring him to King T'Chaka, who chooses to adopt him as his own son and names him Hunter. Growing up, Hunter becomes a skilled hunter and adept in combat, earning him the moniker White Wolf. However, when T'Challa is born and declared the rightful heir to the throne, Hunter harbors intense jealousy and resentment. Following King T'Chaka's demise, T'Challa ascends to the throne, triggering Hunter to plot a coup. Operating under the alias White Wolf, Hunter engages in serious criminal activities, including the murder of women with the aim of provoking a reaction from T'Challa. Eventually, he is apprehended after a series of nefarious actions. Following the erasure of Winter Soldier's brainwashing by Shuri, Bucky Barnes joined the Avengers to confront Thanos in Avengers Infinity War. Demonstrating Wakanda's trust in him, King T'Challa provided Bucky with a specially crafted vibranium arm made by Shuri. How much for the gun? Not for sale. Okay, how much for the arm? Oh, I'll get that arm. Post the reversal of the snap in Avengers Endgame, Bucky embarked on a personal mission to atone for the crimes he unknowingly committed as the Winter Soldier. Granted a full pardon by the U.S., he sought redemption by reconciling with those he had wronged during his time as the Winter Soldier. Bucky, who had always been a loyal ally to Steve Rogers, endured a tragic life but has now evolved into the hero fans had hoped for. With this transformation, the timing seemed opportune for him to fully embrace the White Wolf moniker. Sebastian Stan is slated to reprise his role in the upcoming Thunderbolts movie, marking a surprising twist for the reformed criminal. This development raises intrigue, given that the Thunderbolts typically consist of characters who aren't exactly model citizens. There is speculation that Bucky might be operating undercover for Sam Wilson, aiming to uncover the Thunderbolts' objectives. Looking forward to the next Black Panther installment, it would be logical for Bucky to have a role, especially considering the warning he received from Io of the Dora Milaje. Io cautioned him not to return to Wakanda after assisting Baron Zemo in escaping from prison during the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. With both Bucky and Zemo set to feature in Thunderbolts, Bucky might find himself on Wakanda's list of adversaries if he aids Zemo's prison break again. However, if he is working on behalf of Sam Wilson's Captain America to gather information on the Thunderbolts, his connection with the African nation could prove crucial to the unfolding storyline. Given his remarkable skills as a soldier and deadly assassin, Bucky Barnes holds the potential to play a significant role in Marvel's future narratives. Our speculation leads us to believe that the creators likely didn't keep Bucky around for an extended period only to abruptly derail his character arc by turning him to the dark side shortly after his redemption journey. If Bucky does indeed fully embrace the White Wolf identity in either Thunderbolts or Black Panther 3, it would be an exciting development to witness him don the white vibranium suit inspired by the Marvel comics. Seeing him fight alongside rather than against the Black Panther would add a compelling dynamic to the narrative and showcase a positive evolution in his character's trajectory. Now, I'm sure you're curious about the power comparison between White Wolf and Black Panther. Who holds greater strength and emerges victorious? In the Marvel Comics universe, sibling rivalry is a recurring theme. 
While characters like Loki and Thor, as adopted brothers, engage in constant conflicts, T'Challa, the Black Panther, also faces familial disputes over the throne. His lesser-known brother, Hunter, consistently challenges T'Challa's authority as a member of the Wakandan Secret Service, proving to be a formidable adversary over the years. To settle the age-old debate, we've delved into both characters' attributes to determine the ultimate question, who is more potent, the White Wolf or the Black Panther, and who would come out on top in a showdown? All right, let's compare. White Wolf, also known as Hunter, lacks any supernatural abilities. His presence in Wakanda originated from a fortuitous crash that led to his adoption by King T'Chaka. Being a white individual in Wakanda exposed him to racism, prompting him to develop martial arts and other skills, ultimately establishing himself as a proficient fighter. Assigned various missions by his adoptive father, Hunter's pale appearance allowed him to operate incognito. Despite lacking supernatural powers, White Wolf excelled in hand-to-hand -hand combat and tracking, his exceptional abilities attributed to advanced technology and rigorous training. In contrast, T'Challa, initially a regular human, gained superhuman attributes through the heart-shaped herb, assuming the role of Black Panther. Possessing enhanced physiology and heightened senses, Black Panther's capabilities rival those of individuals enhanced with the Super Soldier Serum. Although he wields advanced technology and secondary energy manipulation abilities, Black Panther usually relies on his natural powers. In the showdown between Black Panther and White Wolf, the former holds a slight advantage due to his supernatural energy manipulation powers, heightened senses, and reflexes. While White Wolf is formidable, he falls short of possessing superhuman abilities, making Black Panther the favored contender in their matchup. Black Panther 1, White Wolf 0. Next, Black Panther surpasses White Wolf in terms of strength, speed, and durability. Black Panther's enhanced strength allows him to lift approximately 800 pounds when necessary. The effects of the heart-shaped herb also grant him increased speed, enabling him to reach speeds of up to 45 miles per hour. In terms of durability, Black Panther benefits from a boosted metabolism, making him highly resistant to illnesses and poisons. However, his primary defense lies in his vibranium suits, providing reliable protection against severe injuries. Contrastingly, White Wolf lacks the advantages of the heart-shaped herb and relies heavily on technology. While possessing normal speed and strength, he compensates with remarkable acrobatic skills and energy-dampening boots in his Hatut Zerazi uniform. These boots allow him to defy physics, walking on water surface, climbing walls, and surviving significant falls. Similar to Black Panther, White Wolf's various vibranium suits render him bulletproof and resistant to armed injuries. Although White Wolf and Black Panther can engage in a relatively even fight, the significant advantage lies with Black Panther, as his powers are not primarily derived from technology. T'Challa's innate abilities give him the upper hand, leading to a 2-0 score in favor of Black Panther. While in theory Black Panther and White Wolf may appear evenly matched in combat readiness, Black Panther's superior feats and supernatural attributes give him a clear edge. In every aspect, speed, strength, durability, intelligence, and versatility, Black Panther outshines White Wolf. Despite White Wolf posing a threat, T'Challa is more than capable of handling the challenge alone, leading to a decisive 3 to nothing score in favor of Black Panther. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments.